Hello, this is my coil gun update, two stage coil gun update. This is three stage coil gun, three multimeters for three capacitor bank. Again, this all capacitor bank is charged by the same power supply here. And let's do a test shot. And again, the same. If you have watched my uh, old video, my previous video, I have the same chronograph here. But here, the distance between this point to this point is 10.6 cm, and it is hooked up to this oscilloscope, storage oscilloscope. So now let us make a test shot. Okay. Our capacitor bank is charging, charges to 450 volts. Fire. So again, the target is this 5 amp thick plywood. And if you are wondering why this graph sheet is stick on this plywood, I'll tell you in a while. And here we have the projectile. So let us look at the let us take a look at this heat actually. This projectile has not focused its kinetic energy through its tip like this. See, see this hole, it's a clear hole and this one, this one, it's a clear hole whereas this one is not a clear hole. It's like, it's almost like this projectile hitting this target like this and just getting deflected or, or not, be, not being stable. <coughs> so now, this is one of the issues actually, this is one of the issues. We need to have a projectile which will stably go through the tar target, which will not wobble in its flight path, which will, which will not wobble like this in its flight path. It should go straight. So for that, we need to think primitive. So we have this type of projectile. You might have seen this projectile in my last video. Now this. This, this video will be all, all about the uh, projectile stabilization. So now let us look at this projectile, how it shoots through the target. Now we will just carefully load this projectile inside. And let us charge this multimeter. And let it charge in the previous video. We have this thing here in the CRO, the time between this point to this point. So now let us shoot it through that sheet. So now let us take a look at this projectile's performance actually. You see that? You see that clear hole? That's because, yeah, you can see, it went through this PNMIT, you know, magazine. And where the hell is it? Yeah, on the projectile. So you saw this clear hole. But if you look at this projectile here, See, it has broken. This this is a carbon fiber shaft, but it breaks. So, so as you saw, this type of stabilization was simple. It is effective, efficient, works all the time. 
but it breaks this this carbon fiber shaft even though it's 2 mm thick it breaks whenever you know certain impact happens on this projectile so this type of stabilization system is effective simple but we we can't use it practically it is i think according to me it's practically not so feasible so what did i do is i just adopted the conventional method of stabilization that is making the projectile rotate so what i have done here is here is the motor which rotates this projectile and here here we have a neodymium boron magnet attached to this projectile so when the, whenever this shaft rotates this projectile also rotates so when this projectile rotates i, I know it actually stabilizes it it, it stabilizes this uh, projectile using gyroscopic force and i hope this will work so let us just put it to test okay let us first charge the capacitor back okay let us rotate this projectile and fire so now as you saw this was the shot so this was the shot and it's a clear shot let us make another shot actually shot number 2 with gyroscopic stabilization oh the voltage is too much let us see the see this thing again see it's a clear hole so this this gyroscopic stabilization work so again we will shoot so again the shot was also pretty much clear so it won't hit this this target like side from sideways like if you can observe here how it has hit this thing there are no clear holes here 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 so this gyroscopic stabilization and with this third stage i have got again less time period from point 1 to point 1 in chronograph the time period is 1.880 meter per second and wait a minute it's not 1.80 yeah it's 1.840 meter per second and the calculation or here velocity kinetic energy energy in capacitor and efficiency is almost 4% efficient compared to my uh, compared to my previous coil gun it's 2% more efficient thank you for watching